In this video, I'm going to show you five command prompt tricks that are less known and that will improve your efficiency as well as add to your cool factor when you're using command prompt. This demonstration is on Windows 10 command prompt version 10.0.18362.1016, but I'm sure most of them will work in previous versions as well as carry forward to new versions. By the end of the video, you'll be able to open folders, create undeletable folders, know how to move files between folders and delete folders from command prompt, and lastly, you'll be able to customize the command prompt. It's Ndafara from NKT Studios and welcome or welcome back to the channel. In this channel, we share technical tutorials as well as software demos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and let's get into it. The first trick that I'm going to show you is how to create a folder and then open the folder in the Explorer from Command Prompt. So the first thing that we have to do is to open Command Prompt. So just go to your taskbar and search CMD and then open it up. Once it's open, navigate to where we want to create the folder. In my case, I want to create in the C drive. So I'm just going to type in CD, C drive, colon, and then the backslash. Press enter to go to the C drive. As you can see, I'm now in the C drive. Once there, type in MD, which means make directory, command prompt tricks. This means that I want to make the directory command prompt tricks in my C drive. If I open my C drive here, you can see that I don't have a folder called command prompt tricks. Now, if I go back to my command prompt and press enter, and then come back here, to my C drive, I just need to refresh, and then you can see that the folder command prompt tricks was created. Now to open this folder in command prompt, all you have to do is to navigate to the folder you want to open. In this case, I'm going to type in CD command prompt tricks, as I'm already in the C drive, and then press enter. Once there, I'll just type start, space, dot, and then press enter. And as you can see, my folder was opened. The next trick shows you how to create an undeletable folder on your computer. So just navigate to where you want to create the undeletable folder. In my case, I'm already there, which is my command prompt tricks folder. Let me just open it up so that you can see that there's nothing. As you can see, my folder is empty. And then just go back to command prompt and type in MD con and then backslash and then press enter. Now, if I open my command prompt tricks folder again and just refresh, you can see that my con folder was created. Now you can't delete, rename, or cut this folder. On top of that, you can't even browse this folder. This is because the name we used, Corn, is part of the Windows reserved names. Here are the reserved names and they are case insensitive. Since you can't even browse to this folder, how can you use it? In order to move files in and out of this folder, you have to use the move command in command prompt. So I'm just going to create a test file here called text.txt and then move it into the corn folder using the move command. Once you've created the file, go back to command prompt and then type in move space and then put in the file path of the file that you want to move. The file that I want to move is text.txt and it's already in the command prompt tricks folder. So I'm just going to type in text.txt and then put in the destination. In this case, the destination is the con folder. So I'm just going to type in con backslash and then press enter to move. As you can see, we get a confirmation that one file was moved and if we open the command prompt folder, our file is no longer there. To see it in the con folder, just go back to command prompt and then type in dir, which means directory, and then the con folder. This basically means list the contents of the con folder. And if you press enter, as you can see, our file is now in the con folder. Let me just clear the screen. To delete the folder, you have to use the following command, rd forward slash s forward slash q, and then the name of the folder that you want to delete, in this case is con, and then backslash. If I press enter, it will then delete the folder. And then if I go back to my command prompt six folder, you can see that the con folder was deleted. We use the flags forward slash s and forward slash q because our con folder was not empty. If it was empty, we would have just used rd con backslash. To find out what the flags forward slash s and forward slash q do, just type in help rd. As you can see, forward slash s allows us to delete the folder and its contents, and forward slash q allows us to delete the contents of the folder without asking if it's okay. Now let me just clear the screen. 
And the third trick that I'm going to show you is how to customize the command prompt text that appears before you type in your commands. As you can see, here it says C command prompt tricks, which is the current directory that I'm in. And if you want it to display something else, you just have to type in prompt followed by the text that you want. In this instance, I'm going to type in NKT Studios, then colon and space. And then when you press enter, as you can see, it now says NKT Studios and then colon. So from now we are going to get NKT Studios colon before every command. Let me just clear the screen. And as you can see, we get NKT Studios. To revert back, you can just type in prompt, followed by nothing, and then press enter and it will go back to the default text. As you can see, it has gone back to the default where it displays the current folder that I'm in. You can also just close this window and open it again to revert back to the default. This is because what you set as prompt is only available in that session. To make it persist sessions, you will have to do a registry edit, but in this video, I'm not going to do that. While we are still on customizing command prompt, the next trick allows you to change the font color in command prompt. So just type in help color and then press enter and as you can see we get a hex digit list of the available colors. To change them just provide the word color and two hex digits for example 0d. The first one is for the background and the second one is for the foreground. To demonstrate I'm going to put in color 70 and this will change the background to white with black text. So just press any key to continue and then clear screen to clear the screen and then color 70. As can be seen, my colors were changed. So you can use the color combination to set it up just the way you want. And just like the prompt text, this setting is only available in this session. To revert to the default, just type in color without anything at the front and press enter and it will revert to the default. So if I type in color and then press enter, you can see it changed back to the default. The fifth trick I'm going to show you is how you can access previously used commands. The one that most people know is using the up or down direction arrows to traverse through the previously used commands. But if you want a list of all the previously used commands, just type in doski forward slash history. And then press enter. As you can see, all the previously used commands in this window have been displayed. It's now time for a bonus trick. The previous trick just displays the previously used commands. And then if you want to use them, you have to type them again. But if you want to use them straight away, you need to press F7 and then you will get the previous commands as an overlay. All you have to do then is just use the up and down arrows to select the command that you want to use. So if I want to use CLS from the overlay, all I have to do is press F7 and as you can see, I get those previous used commands as an overlay. And then just pressing the up arrow, I can traverse through the previously used commands. I'm going to select CLS and then when I press enter, it runs the command. And as can be seen, my screen was cleared. If there are any tricks that you know, please share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.